Hi. Today we will be traveling to the local Peiwei restaurant located in Old Woodward and Royal Oak, and we will be visiting and going through the kitchen and experiencing a couple main dishes and some appetizers to really go to the inside experience of what Chinese food is really like and how it's prepared and how it's eaten. Hope you enjoy. They are used to place of what Americans use as silverware, forks, and knives. These, this is soy sauce and vinegar. Soy sauce and vinegar complement each other well in Chinese culture because the combination of sweet and sour is the Chinese value. Soy is obviously soy sauce is made from soy and vinegar. These are chopsticks, the main utensil for eating in China. They are worked like this. and you use your front finger to move them. These are fortune cookies, a common dessert that actually are not made in China. They were invented in America, and they use them in all Asian restaurants throughout the country. Chicken. The Chinese love chicken and other meats. The Chinese word for chicken is ji. This is honey seared chicken. They love the sweet food, and how you use it, and how you eat it, is you put rice on a plate. They give you two, dish two dishes to do so and then you put the chicken on top one at a time. From here you can use sauces like soy or vinegar to complete your meal. These are called crab wontons. Uh, they're a fair, very famous appetizer in China. They're uh, deep fried crab uh, pastries and they're served with a sweet sauce and it is one of the most common common appetizers in China. This is a teriyaki bowl. It is uh, featured with rice, broccoli, all sorts of vegetables and tofu with a teriyaki sauce. Uh, it is very traditional food and it has a lot of ingredients in it. This is a common board game played in China that the Chinese people really excelled at in the early 18th century. Uh, this is my teriyaki bowl, almost half eaten, and my crab wontons disappeared. What's up, Dylan? Hi how's your food? Yeah. What he's using right there is called a wok, a traditional stove oven for Chinese food. A lot of things are deep fried, those are deep fryers. This preparation in Chinese culture is valued very highly. They use a variety of sauces in all their foods because they believe that taste, whether sweet, spicy, or sour, all adds to the experience of eating food. Those pans right there are called woks, a very traditional stove oven used for cooking food. It really develops crisp in all the vegetables and meats and tofu that you can cook on it because it has a, a round texture and shape to it. So it gives it gives the vegetables and all the food inside of it extra crisp. And it's one of the best cooking methods used in Central Asia. This is the unfilming of a fortune cookie. Let's see what I get. My fortune is good news of long-awaited event will arrive soon, and those are my lucky numbers. And then this is the Chinese word for salt on the back. Salt is traditionally used in a lot of Chinese dishes. It is believed to bring out the flavors and variety of foods, whether sweet or sour or spicy, it brings out the texture and flavor. Um, a lot of sodium is used because it develops the food and keeps it fresh and it, sodium is a huge, huge, has a huge role in Chinese food throughout the country. Well, thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure and an amazing experience. We hope you learned about, about the food and culture in modern China today. Thank you.